Welcome back to Joyfully at Home. Today, since we're enjoying some of these cooler fall-like temperatures, we're going to make a apple crumb dump cake today. Similar to some of the other dump cakes, um, but this one has a little extra touch, has a little bit of a crumb topping on it. So it's perfect, like nice scoop of ice cream, works great on it if you wanna have it while it's warm, or you can top it with whipped cream when it's cool. It's a wonderful dessert. If you don't have a lot of time to make a homemade apple crisp, this is a great second choice. Now with any dump cake, there's very few ingredients. Um, that's what makes them so simple and so easy. So we're gonna start with two cans of apple pie filling. And these are 20 ounce cans. They'll add a lot of apple to your dump cake so you get a really nice fruit bottom. So we're just gonna empty these right off with all the juice, all your filling right into your pan. We'll get these in here and then we will essentially just keep dumping our ingredients until we're ready to bake. Now these apples already have a little bit of cinnamon in them being that they're apple pie filling. If you want to, you can also use your own apple pie filling or you can use fresh apples that you've gone ahead and cooked a little bit so they're a little bit tender because this only cooks for 40 minutes. So you would wanna make sure that if you're gonna use fresh apples, you give them a little bit of a cook beforehand before you're putting them in this dump cake. But you can absolutely use fresh apples if you want and that's not a problem. So there's the first layer. We've got all that spread out in there. Now we just take a vanilla cake. It's just your basic box cake. It's just the dry mix. It's super simple. Again, we just take the package of dry mix and spread it right over your fruit topping. I get tired of sprinkling sometimes, so I'll just dump it all out on there. And then just kind of evenly spread it out over your fruit. So you've got it fairly even. Again, the beauty of a dump cake is the simplicity of it. You don't have to have it perfect. That's what makes it so wonderful. From there, you're gonna take a half a cup of melted butter. And that's a whole stick. You just take your butter, Get it nice and melted up in the microwave. Cut it up into small pieces so it melts quicker if you want. And then we just drizzle this over the top of our cake mix. No mixing required, none whatsoever. Make sure you kind of get all your little spaces with at least some of the butter on it. All right, and now that's the easiest part of the whole apple dump cake. Now, if you want just a very simple dump cake, you can leave it right like this, bake it at 350 for 40 minutes, and this, just like this, will be wonderful. But what I like to do to dress it up just a little bit is take a half a cup of flour, a half a cup of packed brown sugar, with a teaspoon of Saigon cinnamon, Mix those together till you have a crumbly mixture. Then a quarter cup, which is a half a stick of cold butter, all cubed up. And we just use our pastry blender to mix that butter. Press it right into our crumb mixture so we get coarse crumbs. It's gonna look just like the kind of mixture you'll put on top of an apple crisp. Now, if you want to, at this point, once you're done mixing in your butter and you're cutting that all in into little tiny pieces, if you like nuts, you can also add walnuts or pecans or anything you like, and you can have a little bit of a nut topping as well. Now that we have our crumb mixture, all nice little coarse crumbs here, we just put this right on top of our cake mix and butter and we just sprinkle this right on top so we'll come out with a very nice crumb like topping as if it were an apple crisp and again you can just kind of lightly spread it out over the top of your cake and it'll give it a nice brown sugar 
apple crisp type topping on the top of your apple dump cake. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this in the oven, 350 for 40 minutes until you see the juices from the apples and everything start bubbling up. And then you have the perfect apple crisp dump cake. Now that your apple crumb dump cake is out of the oven, you can see all the nice little places where all your juices are bubbling up that all that juice is making for a really wonderful textured little cake underneath and you've got this delicious cinnamon crumb texture on the top so this is your fast way to make like apple crisp in no time if you don't have time to make a scratch apple crisp this is a perfect alternative if you want to serve it while it's nice and hot you can go ahead and add a scoop of vanilla ice cream to it or if you want to serve it room temperature, you can do that as well with whipped cream. Um, either way, it's wonderful. And you'll enjoy a super fast, super easy version of a great fall dessert. 